Hello, my chicklets. Thank you for stopping by. I don't have much to say today, so let's just go ahead and jump into the story. This one is called My Future King. Would it kill you to relax for just a moment, Sir Logan? There is the potential that it could. And what is more, it could potentially kill you, as it is my job and my duty to assure your protection. Roman turned to face Logan. You are too stiff. We are in one of the most well-guarded areas of the castle. I doubt anyone is going to come in here to hurt me. He stood, holding out his hand. Dance with me. Sir? It's not a request, Logan. It's an order. There was a frown on Logan's face as he took the prince's outstretched hand. This is highly inappropriate, sire. You are supposed to be studying, and I should be keeping an eye on all of the entrances and exits in the room. One dance is not going to end either of our lives. Besides, haven't you pointed out to me, a number of times, that exercise is good for the blood flow to the brain? If you want to help me, dance with me. Then we can both get back to our work. Logan hesitated as he was pulled closer to Prince Roman. When he was a child, Logan had become the last survivor of a noble family of knights that had always served the king and his family. After losing everything... Logan was shown kindness by the king and was raised close to the palace. He spent his formative years proving that he could be useful to the monarch and his family. And now, at the age of 18, he had risen to the position of Prince Roman's personal knight. It was a job that paid well, provided many perks, but most importantly, could only be given to people that the king and queen truly trusted. What would they think if they saw him dancing with the prince, alone in the study? Prince Roman... I want to verify that you are aware of the position we are in, though there are a myriad of reasons why we could be dancing together, and most can be quickly explained away. If someone were to stumble upon us, they could get the wrong idea in their head. We are doing nothing wrong. Roman rested his head on Logan's shoulder. The first time he had seen Logan, the boy had had no expression on his face, nothing at all. His entire family was gone, and though Roman could tell he had been crying at one point in the day, he held back his tears when meeting the prince. It was only on that day that Roman knew he would do anything to make this man smile. It hadn't been easy. Logan was one of the most stubborn people Roman had ever met. Thankfully, the prince was just as stubborn, if not more so. Over time, he had learned that Logan liked books and knowledge, so Roman snuck him books. Roman taught him everything he learned from his tutors, and soon, Logan was surpassing him when it came to knowledge and expertise. The intelligent knight grew stronger, smarter, and more handsome each and every day. It was no longer enough to just see Logan smile. Roman wanted to be the reason Logan was happy. You know, my mother is always stating that I am the most handsome prince in all of the lands, and I agree with her. However, I think there might be someone in this room who is more handsome than I. Logan looked at him, his eyebrow raised. It seemed to have a minimal effect on Logan, but Roman was not deterred. After all, I've seen you practicing without your shirt. That shows your natural and physical handsomeness, but there's so much more to it than that. You're so damn brilliant. That got to him. Logan's cheeks lit up with a light dusting of red, and Roman couldn't help but smile. His Logan was the most impressive person. One of the reasons you hide your emotions is that you don't want an emotional response to hurt someone while they are trying to process information. It's kind and considerate. You put people before yourself. Roman began to dance a bit faster, leading Logan and not giving him much of a time to think about his next move. You think logically about a situation, whereas I know I can be brash. With you by my side, I will be able to be a great king. I would have someone who supports me, but isn't afraid to call me out when I am making poor choices. So, will you stay by my side, Logan? Again, the confusion was evident on Logan's face. I had no intention of leaving. Roman laughed, pulling away. That's not what I meant. He looked in Logan's eyes. Sir Logan, my knight and my light, I want you to be my future king. I... But I... Roman smiled as Logan stepped away. He was enjoying watching Logan's emotionless facade break. It is illogical. We are from different stations, and you are expected to marry a princess. Yes, or so I thought. I addressed the very obvious issue of my sexuality with my parents. He finally sat down. It was terrifying. 
but I wanted to be able to surprise you if they said yes, and if they said no, I didn't want to drag you down with me. My parents were surprisingly supportive. However, none of the other kingdom's princes are willing to be in a romantic relationship with me, something about having a pompous and cocky attitude. That made Logan smile. And as you are of noble birth, you fit within the requirements for my match. Logan steadied himself on the desk. Though the coloring in his face was no longer tinged with an embarrassed blush, his eyes still swam with emotion. Roman loved these brief moments where he could read Logan so easily. They were so rare and so pure. He also loved the moments where Logan was solid stone. It stirred in him a respectful fear of the man he loved, and he did love Logan. He might even love Logan more than he loved himself. If, if we hypothesize that I were to agree, how would this change things? I'm not completely sure. I was a bit more focused on the happily ever after. Of course you were. Logan looked at him, finally calming down. What exactly did you ask your father, or tell him? I told him that I did not like women, and that there was a specific noble son that I had an interest in. You stated they both seemed to be alright with the situation? Of course. How could someone deny this handsome and amazing prince his true heart's desires? Please, allow me to think about this. We have not had a chance to properly court, and I am still hesitant about the possibility of your parents not approving of me. However, I'm not opposed to the idea? Roman smiled and turned back to his studies. Not opposed to the idea was a lot closer to a yes than it was to a no, and Roman was content with that for now. Thank you all for listening. Again, this story was My Future King. I do hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope you have a wonderful day.